If a crying woman's red nose isn't a big enough turnoff to a man, a surprising experiment found another reason. Tears of sadness may temporarily lower his sex drive. I had one girlfriend that always she was crying about everything, and uh, in the end, this is the reason I broke up with her. New research says who can blame him? A study at the Weizmann Institute of Science found that the response isn't just a reaction between personalities, but is hardwired into our chemistry. The chemo signal we identified appears to reduce sexual arousal in men. That is, it's a chemo signal that's in women's tears, and when men sniff this, they can't smell anything perceptible, but it lowers their sexual arousal. For the tests, real tears were collected from women as they watched a sad movie. For comparison, saline droplets were also collected from their cheeks. The study found that men couldn't smell a difference between the two. But when they were given women's photographs to rate, the study concluded that the men found women less sexually attractive when they sniffed real tears as opposed to when they sniffed saline. It's not yet known what that substance is. Uh, that's a critical next step. So what we have here is basically uh, some very provocative, some very interesting information. And the next step is to identify what that chemical substance is and show that uh, it by itself can be effective. As intriguing as the study may be, some people say tears are but one part of a relationship and sex isn't everything. It doesn't make turn me off. It's nice to see emotions. We all cry and laugh together. So if we can't do that, we've got no chance, really. Sobel says in order to prove that tears are a turn off, the same tests need to be done using male tears. And that is no easy task. We were stuck with women's tears for this study, and, and that's what directed our initial uh, design. That said, we're very interested in men's tears, and now we finally seem to have at least one good uh, repeat crier who can generate tears for us. More research needs to be done, but one day we may finally be able to tell whether women really are attracted to men who are more in touch with their feelings. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.